Hey, um, I'm back. <laughs> Sorry for making this two parts, but uh, it's just something that I can't help but do um, because I don't have the full version of Bandicam, which is the recording software that I use. It's free on the internet. Just search up Bandicam trial. You can record 10 minutes without stopping. But, um, yeah, so we're just going to open up this to make it a little faster. All right, so the first thing, um, in the big brush pack that I'm going to put in the description, you've got these brushes here. I usually will use these in my edits, so we're just going to use the brush tool, click like, right in the middle right there, and as you can see, it's kind of fading out, which I really like personally. And we're going to change the blend mode to soft light. Then underneath that, we're going to make another layer. Um, at the top for me, I have some uh, effects that are called halftones. They're these little dots. Uh, you can look up PNGs for these of your apps. Um, you can ask me if you really want them. Uh, you can ask me to uh, send you um, PNGs of the ones that I use. Um, just please be patient with me. Um, I'm not the fastest responder. Sometimes I'll say, sure, I'll send them to you today, and then I won't send them to you today. I'll send them to you like two weeks later. Um, so I I'm pretty bad about stuff like that, so I apologize. Uh, so yeah, I've got a bunch of halftone things here. Um, I like to use this one a lot, 227. Um, I like to use three, uh, 316. Right there, John 316. All right, um, 449, 65. All right, so um, yeah, I'll probably use 903. So I'm going to change the size to make it a little smaller, something like 250. And we want to make the spacing around, around 119, somewhere over 100. I'm just going to hold down the mouse. Um, I want to hide this. Hold down the mouse, just kind of draw around, scribble with the halftones. It, it kind of looks trippy sometimes. Um, whoops, don't want to open Steam because uh, I'm not doing anything on it. All right, so yeah, we want to make sure that we can get as many spots as we can filled up. Um, for my style, that's what I like to see. Alright, so then it kind of looks trippy, but just do overlay, and then it actually looks pretty good. It looks like Beyond the Buzzers. Um, sometimes I'll do a little motion blur. Looks a little bit trippier, but it looks pretty cool to me. And then we're going to go to layer 3 here. Uh, we're going to right click on um, the paint bucket, and we're going to use the gradient. We always use gradients, so you want to make sure that uh, you click on this drop down arrow, you click on the black and white, and then you want to make sure it's radial, radial and it's going on the left from the white to the black on the right. Um, if you click reverse, it changes it so that it's like that. So, And then you want to click right in the middle, and then you want to drag out in any direction. Don't make it too far, don't make it too short. If you make it too short, that's what happens. Uh, Control Z. If you make it too far out, and, uh, too far out, and that's what happens. So we want to make it a pretty decent size. So we'll just do that. Some of the corners are black, and you can see a little bit of gray on the top, bottom, and sides. Uh, so then you want to do multiply as the blend mode to get only the black. Uh, there are other ways, but this is just how I do it. Um, it's the easiest for me. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger there. I think that looks good. Um, we're going to add a couple layers on top of that. We're going to look for some good brushes to use here. All right, so we're going to look for something kind of abstract. Um, I don't know if I'm going to leave the um, brush pack 
in the description because I don't know which one it is. This one I actually don't know which one it is. It's not in the BTV brushes and it's not in the big brush pack. It, I just found this on the internet. I used it for um, my Sydney Crosby design on Anderson Designs Instagram. Uh, it's just at Anderson Designs if you guys want to follow it. Uh, no underscores or periods or anything. It's a pretty cool brush pack. Don't know. Well, actually, I do know where I found it. I found it on DeviantArt. Um, but yeah, we're just gonna use this a little bit. Um, if you guys want the PNGs for these effects, you can always just ask me, and I'll get I'll get them to you as soon as I possibly can. Or I might um, have a Mediafire download link where you can download these PNGs, or just a PSD with all of them in it. So yeah, we're just gonna do this a little bit. Um, switch to red, make a new layer of the red ones. We're gonna duplicate the white white ones, and then put them on top. So yeah, the brushes are when it comes to Beyond the Buster, the brushes are actually one of the most important parts. A lot of people think that the skin is the most important part to a Beyond the Buzzer edit, but it's really the brushes. Um, I don't have the exact same style as Beyond the Buzzer's current style. I don't know how to do that. I don't have, think I have the brushes. So we're going to put the red on hard light. We're gonna just going to um, do Control J on the layer 7, make a layer 7 copy. Layer 7 is the white, and then we're just going to maybe do soft light right there. So yeah, this isn't the exact style of Beyond the Buster. I'll show you guys the exact style um, right here. So Instagram.com slash Beyond the Buzzer. See, so yeah, Beyond the Buzzer is my editing inspiration. Their style is fantastic. I just, I just love this style. It's just so clean. And the light is perfect. It's just awesome to look at. And like they add collages of pictures, like, and it just fits so well. Um, this this is the kind of style that I usually go for. Um, just so you guys know, backboards and nets are the most annoying thing to try to mask. So if you're trying to mask one of those kind of dunk pictures, make sure that you know um, so yeah the, these are pretty cool uh, this one isn't my favorite but it's still beyond the buzzer it's pretty cool say Thomas right there yeah I'm not gonna go into talking all about that and, and just like marveling at their work um, but yeah, I'm just I'm just giving you guys a little visual of what I try to get. Um, it's really hard, but a good imitation and a good bro of mine is um, Paramount GFX. Oh wait, no, Paramount Graphics. <laughs> there we go. Um, I'm not following. Oh, right, because I'm on my Anderson signs. I'll follow him. All right. So, yeah, he, he's really good at doing the Beyond the Buzzer style. And I think he's apps. I'm not sure. But I've heard that he's apps. I remember he posted a picture of using software once. Not entirely sure. But, yeah, this, this is mainly it. Um, we might add a little something here. Um, it's a little scratch thing. It's part of the big brush pack that I'll leave in the description. A um, bunch of scratches here. Um, I'll want to put those up there. Um, and for the sake of time, we won't really do much with these. But yeah. So something like this right here. Maybe put it on overlay. Duplicate it. 
All right. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, see ya.